the Rockman and Forte Taz somehow got even crazier. Now, as you guys know, we have already looked at the Rockman and Forte Taz, but that Taz was as Mega Man, and apparently the run as Forte is even crazier, or base in America. And we're about to find out if that's actually true. I'm pretty sure it is. I've heard that the Forte run is way crazier than the Rockman run, but you know, we got to see for ourselves, obviously. Now, if you don't know the difference between Rockman and Forte in this game, obviously you do get to choose between them, like Mega Man X4 with X and Zero, but Rockman has a charge shot and can like slide under things while base has a dash like this which makes him go a lot faster and a machine gun and on top of that base can double jump so base is a lot easier of a character to play as than rockman and it should allow for base to do a lot more crazy tricks uh, not counting that rockman was able to do that too i don't i still don't know what that is or what causes it but yeah I've seen plenty of runs in Rockman and Forte, most of them have been as Rockman, but I've seen a few as Forte as well, and uh, fair warning, I probably will call this guy both Base and Forte multiple times throughout this video, so I hope that doesn't get annoying. But either way, we're at the Proto Man part, which uh, I'll skip. I know you guys have already seen this in the other task video. But of course, it's time to fight the Green Devil. How is Forte going to serve? Oh wow, it's actually a slower fight than with Rockman. If you don't remember in the other test, Rockman killed this guy in like one hit. I know it wasn't literally one hit, but Rockman spammed it and in just one cycle, one jump, the Green Devil was dead. But of course, it's time to go to Cold Man stage first for reasons that we all know if we watched the last video. Those reasons are of course, uh, Ice Wall. All right, here we go. Let's see if we see anything different other than, you know, the things we listed before that makes Forte different than Rockman in the first place. Now, another reason I'm calling this Rockman and Forte instead of Mega Man and Base is because Mega Man and Base is technically on the Game Boy Advance, which is a lot worse for multiple reasons the screen is cropped the music is different the super nintendo version is the original the game boy advance version is a port but the super nintendo version was only recent released in japan meaning it's technically the super famicom version which is why i call it rockman and forte just to distinguish the two but uh yeah we're not seeing a lot different yet i sure i'm sure we have to get like the weapons first and uh what I assume is going to happen is forte's dash and double jump is going to allow for a lot more tricks that i'm very excited to see but for now, Forte has, is having trouble even killing these things because even though Forte has a machine gun, it's it's so weak compared to the charge shot. And we're going to see an example of this in the Cold Man fight. We might even see a different boss route compared to Rockman. And uh, these jumps were impressive as Rockman, but as Forte, it's just like, well, of course he can make those jumps. He has a double jump and a dash. But anyways, time to fight Cold Man. This is going to be excruciatingly long because... uh. You know, Cold Man has the same amount of invincibility time, but Forte cannot use a charge shot, so, uh, yeah. Ooh, shooting to the music. That's always fun. <laughs> even though this is, like, extra long, like, this isn't even halfway through, this is still fun to watch. I like it when Taz shoots to the music. <laughs> Oh, and Forte is actually going to have to deal with these clouds. Rockman did not have to deal with such a problem. Interesting. It seems like Forte is having no trouble, though. This is just beautiful. I don't want to say anything. This is just... I really enjoyed watching that. <laughs> Next up, we have Burner Man, which in the Rockman run, we did not go to. In Rockman, I believe we went to Astro Man next and then Dynamo Man because that allows you to do some more zips. And in the Rockman run, there were some Dynamo Man zips in this stage, but uh, because Forte has such a hard time, not a hard time, but it takes so much longer for Forte to kill a boss with the plain old dude, I assume we need to get these weapons just for speed. And look at this. You don't even need ice walls for half these jumps. <laughs> Forte can just double jump through that gap. That's hilarious. We are already seeing some glitches though. This is, I love watching these. Some, we got a disc, two discs somehow. Also, for those wondering why I'm covering this instead of Mega Man 9, I did ask in the last video if you guys wanted to see the Forte run or Mega Man 9, and it was overwhelmingly, the majority was for Forte, so that's why we're here. And next, we gotta watch the 100 disc run, because loads of people wanted to see that too, and I've never seen that run or even a speed run of that, so I'm very excited to see that. But uh, yeah, as we can see, Forte is zooming through here. We're seeing dashes, we're seeing ice wall clips, and uh, the stage is over. It's time to fight Burner Man. I wonder how this fight's gonna go. Now, Rockman did have that thing that gave him extra damage, but uh, Forte is Forte, so... 
And uh, that was still extremely fast. Uh, <laughs> that whole stage was very fast. Much faster than having to use Forte's machine gun. Now we're going to Pirate's Man stage, it appears. So I guess we're getting Dynamo Man's weapon a lot later. I assume it's gonna be some different type of glitch because Rock Man just skipped this entire stage with uh, Dynamo Man's weapon. And uh, if you compare the times between the tasks, Forte's run is slightly slower, but it's like 30 or 20 seconds slower than Rock Man's run. But that's mostly because uh, when you kill a boss, Forte does this really long animation where he turns into a purple flame and uh meaning gameplay wise this should be a faster run so while we're not skipping the entire stage like rockman it seems like we're going almost as fast and i guess later in the game we'll see some crazy stuff from forte because like i've said i've heard this run is crazier and uh <laughs> being able to double jump out of these things is crazy oh wow okay and that, okay, we basically skipped the whole stage. It wasn't as, like, visually impressive as the Rockman run, but just, just with Ice Wall alone, that's, that's insanity. Also, I'll let you guys after this boss fight see what the purple animation looks like. I'm not going to play the whole thing because it's so long, but I'll skip to it for a second just so you guys know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, Pirate Man's already dead. Now, let's see what Forte does when he destroys a boss. So he, he does this thing. I don't know if you're normally able to shoot in the air like that or what. Uh, I see a glitch top left screen. But yeah, this animation is much longer than whatever Rockman does. So that's why the Forte run is typically a little bit longer. But with the gameplay being technically faster on Forte's side in the actual game, they at the times normally even out when it comes to regular speed runs. But in the task, this is technically slower. And next up, it appears we're going to the shop. So we're getting the... Uh, Looks like we got a fast dash, a spike invincibility thing, meaning you only take damage when you touch spikes, and uh, the thing where you do more damage when you're low on health. So those are the things we got in the last run as well. And it's finally time for Astro Man stage, which once again is beautiful, but I believe we're finally going on the Dynamo Man route to have some more glitches at our disposal. Now we have landmines. Uh, I, I said Galaxy Man. Astro Man is uh, not weak to this, but... I. I, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure Astro Man is weak to Magic Man, but oh my gosh, look at these precision dashes. Barely in the air. Look at that. Crazy. Another great glitch. Also, some people are wanting me to explain how these glitches work. I can't explain everything, but I do know the basics. The way Ice Wall works is uh, when you spawn it just right, it pushes your character a little bit, and if you can get like a pixel or two or however many pixels you need into a wall, you're in like this glitch state and that's what allows you to clip through certain things and like, it's the same with that boss door. Basically, this thing pushes you. And that's how you're able to get through walls. The ice wall physically pushes your character to a place it's not supposed to be. Because the ice wall has physics as you guys have seen. And you know, you can jump on top of it, you can push it across the ground, etc. And uh, Astro Man stage is done! Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, we do- okay. So while that's not his weakness, we do- that- okay. Let me- let me gather my thoughts. A little- a little discombobulated after that stage. Taz did buy the thing from the shop that does more damage when you're low on health, so. That's- it all makes sense now. Also, Forte is gone. Forte has fled the scene of the crime just like Rockman. Next up, it's finally time to go to Dynamo Man stage, meaning we're finally gonna get his power, which allows us to do a lot more crazy glitches, which I am very excited to see. Once again, I love this stage, and I'm excited to see it done with Forte instead of Rockman, because we do have the dash, we do have a uh, ice wall still, Rockman had that, and a uh, double jump, which uh, hopefully will allow us to do some more cool things. And we have a lot more weapons too going around this time. One thing I also love about this game is that Forte has different colors than Rockman with the weapons, which is just unnecessary, but a beautiful touch. I mean, base already is a great sprite, like base looks cool in Mega Man 8 or whatever, but seeing base have different colors of weapons and everything is just fun to see. I love this. Yep, skipping that boss fight, of course. Oh my goodness, just zooming through these rooms. As you can see, like I was saying earlier, Forte is a lot faster than Rockman, so if it wasn't for that really long uh, boss fight animation thing, Forte would be minutes faster than Rockman, as far as I'm aware. I could be mistaken, there could be something I'm not aware of, but yeah, I mean, just, just look at this. Just look at what we're seeing. The stage is already over. We're about to fight Dynamo Man. And here's Dynamo Man. We have his weakness. We have the thing that gives us more damage. How is this fight going to go? Uh, I'm, I'm not betting on Dynamo Man, I'll tell you that much. And Dynamo Man is dead. I guess I was, uh, you know what? I do love gambling, and I think I did well this time. Don't forget to gamble, everybody. Gambling is great. That was a joke. Tingu Man stage is up next, and, uh, what? It is an auto-scroller, but I'm sure it'll still be fun to watch. And it's certainly a lot cooler of an auto-scroller than the one in Mega Man 8, I can tell you that much. 
I wonder if Forte is going to disappear like Mega Man. It appears so. Forte is, uh, gone. Goodbye, Forte. I, uh, I don't know where Forte is, but, you know, if you're a Sprider, you're someone who makes Mega Man ROM hacks or Mega Man pixel art, you get to see this whole auto-scroller without a, a character getting in the way. Oh, yep. There's the free double jump. I don't know how Forte is staying, like, floating the way he is, but, uh, this is the same weapon that allows Mega Man to have a double jump frame perfectly, and it allows Forte to have a double jump frame perfectly as well. And technically a triple jump if you're Forte, because Forte already has a double jump. But, yeah, anyway, now we're on to the actual stage. Using Ice Wall to get to places you shouldn't get. Classic. Oh, wow. Mega Man didn't do that glitch. Yeah, I don't... I explained how Ice Wall works. I don't really understand why the lightning thing works the way it does once you're in a wall. I know it lets you get another jump. Maybe it just makes you go faster. Maybe it makes you invincible. It clearly makes you zip somehow. I think it changes your vertical direction as well. And oh my gosh, here comes one of my favorite glitches in this game. There's a lot of glitches in this game, but this one's just beautiful. Look at this, guys. Take a look. And what a fight that was. We all love that quick kill glitch, don't we? Leave a comment down below if you like quick kills in Mega Man games. As glitches. If it's not a glitch, it's, uh, it's not as cool. Next up, we have Ground Man. And I love Ground Man. Someone left a comment in the last video saying he's basically Tunnel Rhino. And you know what? I've never thought about that. But he is a lot like Tunnel Rhino. I'd say Ground Man's a little bit cooler than Tunnel Rhino, just design-wise. But it is... They are very similar characters. They both have big drills on their shoulders. Yeah, you know. Anyway, let's just appreciate this run. At four... Did you guys see that too, or am I crazy? Forte looked a lot different for a second. What is happening? Okay, so somehow the fire was necessary in that glitch. I don't know. I guess Ice Wall pushed Forte just a pixel forward right there just to do that glitch slightly faster, saving two or three frames. Seeing some more glitches, skipping a mini boss. I mean, my goodness. It looks like the lightning controls the vertical zipping, but again, I don't know. I'm not going to say something that I don't know for sure, so... Th that was... That stage seemed a lot faster than when Rockman did it, but again, it's... They're both so crazy and impressive, I don't know what to say. I will say, though, the stage and the game are not glitched this time, unlike when Rockman did it. So maybe the game will be a lot more stable with Forte. But I guess we'll have to see, because for now, Ground Man is defeated, and we're on to the next stage. The next stage is, of course, Magic Man stage, one of my favorite Robot Master designs in the entire series. And here we go. The only downside is that it looks like Clown Man stage. But again, it is at night, so it's a lot more beautiful. And you know, Clown Man stage, as stupid as it is, it's not that bad. And Forte can just fly through this. Brock Man had to do all these crazy things. Forte's double jump and dash allows for some ridiculous platforming. And yeah, forget this. Let's skip that entire boss, right guys? Oh my goodness, the double slide on the spikes. Oh, oh my gosh, this platforming. It looks like Celeste in here. I'm sorry, sometimes this leaves me speechless. I know some of you guys like it when I don't talk, but I want to try to at least provide commentary. But at times like this, it's hard to. I know that glitch is incredibly hard to perform, though, and when you're not tasked. And that was the whole stage. That was the entire stage. This, ta this stage can take like 10 minutes if you're not doing these task exploits. So it's just crazy. I hope you guys have played this game before, even if you played on the Game Boy, just to appreciate how insane this run is. And once again, I feel like I saw For Forte Sprite be weird for a minute, but I don't know. Oh, the bottom right and uh, slightly above the boss door looks a little bit weird too. Maybe we will see some glitch artifacts in this game like in the last one, but I guess we'll have to find out. And now it's time to go to the crystal room where we get to demonstrate the use of all of our weapons and get a big old screw. But since we're Tass, I assume we're not going to pick up the big old screw because uh, Tass can RNG manipulate drops and basically Tass got every drop needed and uh, you don't have to wait that extra half a second. And since there's eight of these, that adds up to four seconds if you can do your math correctly. And uh, if you could save four seconds in a speed run, you're dag nama, you're gonna save four seconds. But look at that. See, this isn't just random or like busy work. You could also go here pretty early. You don't have to wait until last. You just do have to go here before the king stages. But like if you're ever needing uh, bolts or screws or whatever they are, and you have this unlocked, you might as well go here. Just a casual tip. Oh, look at that little sine wave put on that mine. That was unnecessary, but it looked cool. 
Forte is also doing this a lot faster than Mega Man, it seems like, because of, uh, once again, the double jump and dashing. But uh, with that completed, it's now finally time to go to the King stages, which, uh, once again, brings three Ks on our screen, which I do not like, but... Uh, that will go away soon. Here we are at King Stage 1. This was very impressive to see as Mega Man, so let's see what Forte is able to do in such a stage like this. Already breaking the game through the gate in the first room. Oh my gosh, invisible through the spikes, jumping up the ladder. I don't know why fire keeps getting switched to. Maybe it's used for something, I don't know. Maybe it's just next to a weapon. <laughs> I don't know, but it, either way. Oh, that was a sick double jump right there to skip an entire portion of the level. I mean, goodness me. Regular gameplay for once. Okay, skipping all that. Wait, was that supposed to be in the game? Those weird pillars? I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. It was around here where the game completely broke last time. So, so far, the game is holding together a lot better. And Forte skipped a cutscene. There is supposed to be a cutscene there where the monkey looks at you and, like, does a longer version of that. But, uh, we, we don't do that here on speedruns. We try to skip those. And, uh, yeah, this is a Titamino. The monkey spanks his own butt. And uh, Forte's floating over the lava. Mike, that's supposed to kill you in one hit, by the way. You see how the platform lowers when you beat the boss? That's supposed to be like a troll. Whenever you beat the boss, you just fall into the lava and die, but whatever. The task doesn't care, and it's on to King Stage 2, which is the longest and hardest stage of Mega Man history. Now, despite being long and hard, I don't hate this stage. I just think it's a little bit you know, difficult. It's really a gauntlet. I had some comments actually appreciating this stage, which I appreciate that. I appreciate comments appreciating actual difficult things in Mega Man, but I've said appreciate way too many times, so let's just appreciate the actual level. And uh, so far, great platforming. Once again, we're seeing some... Okay, well, that was the stage. It's time to fight the King Tank, I believe it's called. Oh, some nice weapon swapping by Forte. And, uh, okay, well, the King Tank is, uh, glitched out. We were seeing some, uh, glitched sprites, finally. Does the destruction of the game finally begin once and for all? We'll only have to find out. <laughs> I, I think Forte just jumped on the ice wall to teleport out of the stage faster, which is crazy. That's gotta save, like, one frame. But who cares? A frame's a frame, right, guys? Okay, getting up into the ceiling. Nice. Love watching that. Getting up into the wall. Love watching that. Ooh. This is the same thing Mega Man did. What is this? What is this glitch where you could just float? I don't get it. I love this song though. It's a banger song. Also, if you notice, the platforms are a lot more spread out for Forte than uh, Mega Man. That's because Mega Man can't double jump, so Mega Man gets pity platforms. Which is, uh, I, I think that's really funny. Maybe that's just me. Wow, that... It didn't even look like the boss was dead yet, and Forte's already dead. Okay, if you don't know, you die right there to skip the cutscene of watching it die or whatever. But if you saw the last video, you would know. And uh, yeah, by the way, we are still in King Stage 2. This is still King Stage 2, and we have to have an epic boss fight with uh, King himself, as we're about to see. Not that one, obviously. Did, did you think that was the boss fight? It's not. This is the boss fight with King himself, if you're wondering. I don't want you guys to get confused or anything. Not sure what the deal was with that uh, gold guy, but that wasn't a real boss fight. This is the real boss fight. And Forte could just double jump up there. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. And he's already dead. That. <laughs> That's. Again, I'm speechless. That was such quick work. And here's where we find out Dr. Wily was behind it all along. Who could have guessed? And this is the first game where Forte actually rebels against Dr. Wily, and that's why in all the future Mega Man games, Forte's a good guy. Because I don't know if you remember Mega Man 7 or Mega Man 8, but Forte tried to fight Mega Man. But in Mega Man 10, you can just play as Forte. That's pretty cool. But anyway, this is cold, man. Uh, now we uh, do have his weakness, and uh, as well as the thing that makes you do more damage when you're low on health, which is why... It, there's intentional damage being taken here. Oh, wow. I assumed Cold Man was weak to Burner Man because I'm dumb. I forgot it was lightning. But, uh, yeah. For some reason in my mind, I was like, oh, fire beats ice. I don't know why I would think something so silly like that. But, uh, obviously lightning beats ice and ice beats fire. Duh. Ice melts and turns into water, which beats fire. And then fire beats water. Guys, come on. It's an easy weakness system to follow, really. And Magic Man beats Astro Man because, uh, this guy's, uh... Space. He's good at science. It's happening to Forte again. I saw the glitch. I saw the glitch. I didn't want to miss it. Um. 
I... <laughs> I don't know what this game is being held together by at this point, but I'm too afraid to ask. Last time I asked if the game was going to be played normally, it just broke right in front of me and never recovered, so uh, maybe we won't have to witness that this time. Because I love this game, I don't want to see it break in front of me, even though that would be, uh, it would be cool. I think it would be cool, but... Ooh, through the floor, through the floor. Oh, but don't fall, don't get soft locked. Oh, the game's breaking. I spoke too soon, that background does not look right. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I don't think the background is supposed to look like that. I feel like Missing Note did not have this many cameos in the original game. But again, I haven't played in a while. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I, my memory is just failing me. Zipping through the floor on the spikes with invincibility frames to instantly get up into the Burner Man refight. We saw another glitch on the floor. Last time, this was unbearable to watch because our entire screen turned green. Did not like that. This time's a lot more uh, appealing to my eyes and head and... Uh, everything really and uh, yeah of course skipping that <laughs> I love how many glitches are in this game <laughs> I know I say this all the time but I I will never get tired of watching these glitches especially because I play these games so often okay Forte is in the floor just having fun a little disrespectful to magic man but you know what it's probably faster so who cares Time for ground, man. Love watching Forte's weapon swap, too, when uh, the boss health is filling up perfectly in sync. And uh, ground, man, is dead. What's Forte going to do now? Is this going to be a normal playthrough? Is this going to be some nor normality for once? Still no quick kill. Okay, I guess that's impossible. Because that, that also was not done on the refight size Rockman either, so. Which makes sense. I don't. Okay, the clouds. Those clouds are not right. I don't know what it is, but they're not right. What a timed double jump. What a well-timed double jump. And uh, we're already at the Wily machine. I can't read those, so I uh, I don't know what they're saying, but it's probably something cool, if I had to guess. And there is the Wily machine, but the wrong music is playing. Why is the wrong music playing? No. My goodness. All right, are we going to see it? We don't have to use Rush Search this time, unlike Mega Man, who ran out of weapon energy for that mine. Oh, there's no quick kill as Forte. Interesting. Okay, but Forte did turn into a morph ball or something. There's no quick kill, though. That's interesting. And uh, Wily should be dead. Yep, there goes Wily. And uh, <laughs> what a run. I can't believe it's already over. I feel like that just blew by <laughs> so fast. And now we get to see Forte's version of the credits, which is, you know, very interesting. I won't say a lot more interesting, but I do think it is more interesting than the Mega Man credits, at least, you know, canonically. I can't read what's going on here, but just this image alone is a lot cooler than Mega Man looking at his own buster and with, like, Roll and Dr. Light and everybody, but, uh, yeah, what a great run that was. So that was the Forte version of the Rockman and Forte task, and as always, I very much enjoyed this. I will say the Rockman one was maybe a little bit more impressive to me because of how broken the game got and because of how limited Rockman is in this game compared to Forte. When I heard the Forte run was crazier, I assumed there would be some crazier glitches and there were some really crazy platforming areas and some crazy glitches for sure and there were definitely a lot of differences and it was still very impressive but I gotta say, I think the Rockman run was slightly more impressive than this one but I think it's up for debate. What do you guys think? As always, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless but leave a comment down below which task you think was more impressive versus Rockman or Forte. And in the next video, we're going to be taking a look at the 100 discs task speed run because first of all the disc database is very cool and underrated i want to take a look at that one day maybe i'll make a video just covering that for fun i don't know that seems like a stretch but i love the disc database it's one of my favorite things in all of mega man and the 100 percent speed run of rockman and forte has got to be insane if this is the any percent the 100 percent must be nuts but that should be coming up this wednesday and until then i hope you guys have great days or a great week or however long it is i'll see you guys there